So, my dear, are we ready for the sales? Uh, I guess so. I feel some disturbance in your faith, Jack. Madame Julia sees and knows all. Uh. Now, why don't you start by telling us why we're here? I thought you saw and knew all. Of course I do, but the people beyond don't. The people beyond. People outside our plane of existence. They watch us, care about us. Some may even direct our actions. Oh, yeah, right. The people beyond. Listen, son. Do you want this seance to happen, or not? Uh, I, I guess I do. I, I need to contact my uncle, who died recently. His will talked about a hidden treasure. That only his two dearest friends could recover. But these two friends are at war with each other. They'll never ever collaborate. Not even for an inheritance. So I absolutely need to talk to him to find an alternative way to get that treasure. Have you tried talking to those friends first? Listen, lady. Do you want this seance to happen or not? I guess I do. Then, whenever you're ready, just put the ingredients in the crucible, and we can start. You brought the elements I asked for in the pamphlet I sent you, didn't you? I, of course I did. Then put them in the crucible the way the letter states. Yeah, so um, I think I need to find inner peace before the ritual. Take your time, Madame Julia charges by the minute. I thought that piece of paper was just an advertisement. Maybe I should read it now. Let's see. Ethereal world and physical world. Blah, blah, blah. Four elements in a crucible. Beware the order of the elements. Man, I have to find these elements as fast as I can or this lady's gonna cost me a fortune. Gather four objects representing the four basic elements in a large crucible. The stronger the connection of each object to the spirit, the more effective the enchantment will be. The order for the offering is vital to attract or repel spirits. An upward order will attract spirits from the physical world to the ethereal world. A downward order will attract spirits from the ethereal world to the physical world. I suppose the rays represent light reflected by his bald scalp. Spare me your jokes about my religion, son. This represents what you see if you rub your eyes too hard. Spare me your jokes. I can read palms. Really? Well, only if someone wrote on them. Spare That's a very big crucible. It's not about size. It's about how you use it. This seems to be some sort of demon hellspawn. That's a photo of my late husband. What a handsome man. I wonder why psychics love both candles and drapes. We like to live dangerously. I try to keep open flames away from my crotch. You're missing out, my dear. I would have never resorted to this kind of quackery if I weren't desperate. I sense you have questions for me. So, about air. That's the invisible substance that surrounds us. I know what air is. So, what's your question? I want to know what it means in terms of this spell. It could mean anything that's related to air. Wind, breathing, use your imagination. Speaking of water... What are you looking for? I demand a discount because of that pun. Fair enough. Anyway, water is just water. Or something made of water. I have a question about fire. It burns. I know. I meant the rash 
I have on my posterior. I forgot to moisturise it this morning. That's not the information I came here for. Well, fire can be fire itself. Something that's burning. Something that relates to fire. That's pretty vague. As are all things psychic. Can you tell me about Earth? It's a software owned by Google that allows you to navigate satellite maps. Tough audience. Anyway, it refers to soil or rocks, grass, whatever refers to the ground. That's what I thought. That's why I ignored your question. A strong connection to the spirit? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that one. Sure, if you were to perform it yourself, can you imagine? Then you'd need objects that have a strong significance for the spirit, yes. But with me performing the spell, I'll provide the necessary extra sensorial power for the ritual to be effective. So, basically, any object would work? I wouldn't say any object, but still we can be quite lacks on that requirement, as long as the elements and the order are respected, of course. I'll be right back. Take your time. Hey, I like this one. A Buddha head statue. Don't touch anything that's sitting on my shelves. A necklace with a creepy face medallion. A ceramic plate with geometrical decorations. These look like crystals from my six-year-old nephew's kit. The complete guide to hexes. Complete? Bah. I hope this isn't a real human skull. A statue of the Tree of Life, ironically, made of wood from a dead tree. Why do psychics love pillows so much? Who doesn't love pillows? This carnivorous plant creeps me out. That's Berry. He's such a sweetie boy. Hey, Berry. I hope there's enough earth for such a big plant. Don't mind if I do. Whoa! I doubt the plant can hear you. I know. I was talking to you. Why do psychics love pillows so much? Someone forgot a folding fan. It's a cheap plastic one. Yona won't miss it. Various astrology magazines. Astrology is so dumb. That's such an Aries thing to say. I'll take one. Just for laughs. One is more than enough. Five reasons why Gemini are the best. Reading this gave me cancer. Ha, ha, ha. It's a wooden sliding door. The path to a normal world. If I get out, my session with Madame Julia will be over and I'll be charged for nothing. A box of latex gloves. I can't reach it. An incense burner. I fear it's here to cover the smells. It's full. It just needs fire. I see five or six flies around a trash can. I want to write a Toy Story-like movie about a sentient toilet brush. This brush has no brush. It's just a crappy wand. There's only one glove left. The Porcelain Throne. 
Ooh, someone left a souvenir in here. I better flush it. Why doesn't this work? Oh no, the tank is completely out of water. Eat poop. Millions of flies can't be wrong. I don't think I can do much if it flies that fast. That would break it into pieces and make a mess. That would break it into pieces. I can't believe I'm doing this. kind of paper doesn't catch fire easily. This will revive the fire. The magazine is igniting the incense. The magazine stopped burning. It's working properly. Tasty smoked fly meat. Come with me, little buddy. I don't think it's safe to hand feed him. Catch! Just my luck. Pillows everywhere and I still break something. The inside reads, Made in China. That seems to suggest it's not a real human skull. On the other hand, nowadays lots of humans are made in China too. Well, that's not sitting on the shelf anymore. I suppose he won't mind now. Why? Why is this the only water around? I have no choice. Ugh. It seems like we're ready. Come here, my dear. Fire to purify, air to give life, water to sustain it. Yeah, that water sure sustained something. Earth where bodies will return. Oh, ethereal spirits, we're here to call one of you. Jack, say the name of the spirit you want to contact. <clears throat> Arthur Flabbington. Arthur Flabubington, if you're here, manifest yourself. Actually, it's... Don't break my flow, kid. Jack, state the reason you're calling him. The spirit will be bound to you until the goal is fulfilled. To recover my uncle's hidden treasure. Arthur, for this noble reason we summon you. What the... Where am I? Arthur, I welcome you back to the physical world. Wait, who the hell's this guy? Who are you? This is, is not my uncle. That can't be. Are you his uncle? Why would I be? Are you his aunt? He'd wish. Quite the opposite. Then why are you here, spirit? How would I know? I was just chilling in the afterlife when suddenly... I'm in a room that smells like bad decisions and my mouth tastes like I ate poop. 
Bring me back. Hang on. You said the wrong name. It's all your fault. That can't be. Aren't you Arthur Flabinson? It's Flabbington, damn it. No, my name is Arthur Feldberg. See, that's not the name I said. This rules out my responsibility. But... Maybe if you hadn't used random stuff like water from the toilet, the spell would have worked better. Oh, God! And that explains the taste. I want a refund. Did you read the terms and conditions? No refunds if the summoning evokes the wrong spirit. I wonder how often this happens if you had to specify it. You'd be surprised to know how often people bring toilet water for the spell. I can't believe I was once part of this realm. How do I get rid of him? I was going to ask the same. I want to get back to the afterlife as soon as possible. Well, that is quite a misfortune. You stated your goal to find your uncle's treasure. This means you two are bound until the goal is reached. That can't be! I guess we should go treasure hunting. No way! This lady can perform some exorcism to revert the spell. Do you have money? Uh, no. But uh, this guy will pay for it. Listen, I, I was planning on paying for the session with inheritance money. No inheritance, no money for one ritual, let alone a second one. So if you want back, there's no choice but to help me. Oh God, this is a fate worse than hell. And you know what's even worse? That the jam game ends here. So if you like this game, and you want to help this idiot get his treasure, hey, and most importantly, help me get the hell out of here, don't forget to follow and support Ghoul Games. The will of Arthur Flavington will be extended outside of the jam window, with more characters, more jokes, and hopefully less poo-related puzzles. Can you please do this speech after we get out of here? Madam Julia charges by the minute. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's a game developer, not a YouTuber, you dimwit. Thank you.